Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Jory with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we're talking about one of the most influential women of early Christendom. This woman's influence was so powerful that she's revered not only by the Roman Catholic Church, but Eastern Orthodox, Anglicans, and even Lutherans consider her to be an example of sainthood. Saint Helena of Constantinople has many reasons to be remembered, but perhaps the most obvious is as the mother of Constantine, who was the first Christian emperor of Rome. Born somewhere around the year 248 AD, Anno Domini, she was a native of the Eastern Roman Empire in what is modern-day Turkey. There has been a lot of speculation about Helena's early life and family origins. Some claim that she was a Greek of low birth, and it isn't clear how exactly she became romantically connected to the Roman tetrarch Constantius. But whatever the state of their union, Helena and the Roman leader did have a son together, the future emperor Constantine I. Unfortunately, their marriage didn't last. She never remarried, but instead devoted herself to her son, who had a deep love and affection for her. Upon the death of Constantius in 306, Constantine was named Augustus Emperor by his troops, and like a true and loyal son, he brought his mother back to the imperial court and publicly honored her. He crowned her with the title of Augusta, proclaiming her the sovereign mother of the Roman Empire. There's some debate as to when Helena actually became a Christian. Some historians claim she was a Christian from birth, while others hold that she was converted to Christianity later in life. Church tradition teaches the latter. She took it upon herself to spread Christianity throughout the kingdom, erecting churches throughout the empire and offering help to the poor and needy communities. In 324, when Helena was around 80 years old, she journeyed to Palestine. While there, she had several more special churches built, one in Bethlehem, near the location of Christ's nativity, and one on the Mount of the Ascension. It was also during this time that she and her group uncovered the true cross of Christ. Three crosses were actually unearthed, and at the behest of Saint Marcarius of Jerusalem, she took each one to a sick woman who had an incurable disease, having the one woman touch them one by one. She touched the first and nothing happened. The second one also, nothing happened. But when she touched the third cross, she was immediately cured. Based on this miracle, it was declared the true cross of Christ and Helena had the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre built on the exact spot where the cross had been found. The Feast of the Holy Cross celebrated on September 14th actually commemorates this event. After her death in 330, the place where she had lived was demolished and the Church of the Holy Cross was built over it. Helena was such a holy woman that even her home became a site for Christian worship. And she is beloved not just for being the mother of Constantine I, but also for her heroic dedication to spreading Christianity. St. Helena of Constantinople, pray for us.